Hi, welcome to week four of our online pottery classes. This week I'm going to show you how to make some simple wall hanging decorations. Um, I've done a couple of different styles down here just to show you um, and I'll show you how to, to do some of these. Um, again, just some different styles. And you can even, if you were doing it for a present or something, make it a wee bit more personalised with stamping onto it or, or painting onto it. So we're going to be working with slabs of clay again. So just rolling out some clay onto your board. And I'm just going to show you, first of all, how to cut out some templates for some different things. So for the clay template, I've just actually used um, a paint palette or you can use a bowl or a circular tub or anything. Um, so I've just drawn around it here and then just moved it to the side slightly, just overlapping and going over it again and again to the other side. So I like to work with some templates first of all before I start cutting into the clay. Again, it lets me know um, how much clay to roll out. So for this kind of size, I'd be rolling out about the size of this board and positioning it on to cut it out. Again, just using this, I've done some rainbows. So just drawing around that again and then cutting out an arch from it. So just using things that you can find about the house. And again, for my moon, just going round it, moved it down slightly and just gone over it again and cut it out. So you can come up with anything you want to do to make. And again, if you've got anything, cookie cutters or anything lying about the house, you can use those as well. So the first one I'm going to show you is the dream catcher one here. So I'll just read that. So I've just used um, a big scone cutter and just cut out a circle and again you want to get a nice finish on this so you can go around with a damp sponge and just make sure that the edges are nice and smooth and there's no sharpness and you can go over with your rubber kidney as well um, just to get a nice smooth surface to work on so we'll just use a wee doily for this one Again, if you had any old hats or scarves or gloves or anything like that, um, jumpers you weren't using, you can just cut out a section. And just use your rolling pin. Okay, so I'm just going over that quite a bit, I'm just putting some pressure on it. Take it off, you can see that we've got the pattern in it. Okay, and with my spare clay, I'm just going to cut out some feathers. Again, you can use paper templates if you want. I'm just going straight onto the clay for this. Okay, and I'm just going to roll those out a wee bit thinner as well. I'm keeping them a wee bit thicker at this end. Okay, if I go too fine with these, they will just break. And I'm keeping them thick at this end because I'm going to have to put a hole through all of these so they'll attach from the hanging. So again, I've just used some of the modeling tools that you've got in your pack and just place that into the center. And then just bring the sides. Just 
actually a kind of feather look. I'm just using the end of a paintbrush. I'm just going to do some holes in this. So I have to put a hole in the feather and obviously we don't want it to hang as well. So you can see I've done that with these ones here and I've made some little beads as well that we'll thread on. So the beads just with a few bits of leftover clay. So I'm just rolling them into circles. And again, you need to be able to make a hole right the way through that. Okay, so we'll join all that together later um, once it's been fired. And I'll just move on and show you how I've done the little teardrops here. The raindrops, I should say. So again, starting off with a ball of clay. and then just pinching it. This clay has gone a wee bit dry because it's stuff that I drove down in preparation for doing this. Um, so you want to take a wee bit out of your bag that's a bit softer. And just press that into a tear shape. And again, you want to put a hole through that as well and give it all a nice sponge up and tidy up. You can see where I'm working with the clay um, my hands it can become quite dry and dry so just sponging over that. I've also done ones here as well like a wee solar system. Again just using some cutters. And using some tools as well so to do the sun just use the tool this edge and I'm just pressing it in all the way down. You could do flowers or anything. And for this one as well, I've got my circle. And you can either cut out a piece and just attach around it, or you can roll out a coil. And just remember that anything I'm attaching. Need to score and slip. Just score across. Put plenty of slip on. And then just attach it. Just break it off at the edges or wrap it under. Smooth it all with the brush. The important thing about these is drying them flat on a board so they don't curl up and then once they're fired we'll be able to thread them all together. You'll be able to decorate these with your coloured slips once they've leather hard. Um, so we'll show you that in another week one of these have dried out how the decorate them all. But you can just play about and come up with your own ideas for, for some more hangings. 